how much time we've gone. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. I am into whole videos here on YouTube. Today, I want to talk about dissociation and what that means and what it looks like. Dissociation. Dissociation is where a person becomes disconnected from their self or their surroundings, most commonly with a mental illness. The five dissociative disorders that I know of, and they're in the DSM-5, are depersonalisation, derealisation, OSDD, DID, and it's dissociative amnesia. Personally, I'm diagnosed with depersonalization and derealization, which means I don't see my body as my body and I don't see my surroundings as, as familiar. I'm very disconnected from it all. For me, at its worst, dissociation has caused me to hallucinate. Dissociation occurs when your body needs, needs out, basically. Which is why it can happen in anxiety attacks. Everyone's in a high stress situation. I am melting in this heat wave. Dissociation itself isn't a mental illness. Dissociation and impact is very common. Dissociation also occurs with anxiety. In a panic attack, you can dissociate. I'll insert a clip now of when I first realised I was dissociating. I'll read the clip. Something really, really weird happened yesterday, and I was gonna film a video about this, but I don't really want to set up my camera because I think it's too too much, right? I'm still quite afraid from all of this, and I don't really know 100% what happened. Long story short, I woke up this morning, well, it was afternoon, went to an appointment, checked my call logs, and realised that what I dreamt had actually happened. What I thought I dreamt was actually what had happened last night. I can't remember anything after about eight o'clock yesterday. Um, I had a dream. Well. Apparently I didn't have a dream, but it was a dream to me um, about these people who were following me and then they transformed into animals, but they went from being human first to invisible to like a ghost shape. And I can guarantee, I can guarantee this whole thing happened because of the state of my phone screen, because I've got quick knees and because of the call logs. Like these call logs are actually on my phone and I'm going to insert a screenshot here. It was, I don't know, I don't know what happened, I don't know, I don't even believe in my flight, I don't remember any of it. Like, as from the perspective of it actually happening, I remember it as in me waking up this morning thinking, oh shit, that was a horrible dream, to realising that it actually happened. It's a scary situation, I don't really know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it's about. But these fucking invisible dogs were chasing me, biting me, and, and trying to bite me, and I was, I was, I just, I don't know, I don't know at all. Troubling, it's troubling to think about. It's scary, 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 scary stuff. I really don't know what happened, and I'm very afraid. I don't know, I'm afraid to go to sleep again because I don't know if it's going to happen again. I don't know if I'm going to actually be dreaming, I don't know, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid of it all. I'm really afraid. I don't know, I just don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't really know what happened. It just feels like, it doesn't feel real. It wasn't real, but it was. And I don't know. It was such a vivid, vivid dream that, I don't know, it woke me up this morning and then when I woke up, I was like, oh, it wasn't a dream because it actually happened because I got the call logs and the cuts and the bruises from it. So yeah, as you can tell, I was very disturbed by it. I was very disorientated. Dissociation is a scary real thing that happens to a lot of people. Depersonalization and derealization are the most common dissociative disorder, followed up by dissociative amnesia, OSDD and then DID. This is what it looks like when you dissociate. This is an old video of my role clip. I've completely lost track of my thoughts. So as you can say, I was just out of it. Continuing on with my discussion on dissociation. Yes, I've got changed. It's very hot in the UK right now. Let's talk a bit about the process of dissociating. So yes, continuing our discussion on dissociation and what it 
means to dissociate. What is dissociation? Here's what I found. Dissociation is a construct that has been developed over time. It is any of a wide array, array of experiences, ranging from mid mild emotional detachment and the immediate surroundings to more experience to more severe connection from physical and emotional experience. Dissociation comes on a spectrum. You can mildly experience it, you can moderately experience it, you can severely experience it. It's a spectrum. For me, I'd say I experience moderate to severe dissociation, more so moderate. So dissociation is a complex thing. Have you ever experienced dissociation? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.